Hello Pilots, Happy New Year and welcome back to Season 1 of Out of Art Gaming's Flight Academy. Today we have Game 12 of this Round Robin Tournament. As ever, the format rules are in the description below. But for this matchup and for the start of this new year, I am joined by... Hi folks, it's Ben. Hey Ben, Happy New Year. Hope you're looking forward to some more fancy flying from our pilots here. Oh yes, I think this will be a... Uh, interest, very interesting one with these two ships going at it. Yeah, we've got the danciness of the Phantom versus the sheer damage output. Sledgehammer. Of, yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see who comes out on top here. I'm very interested in it. But let's quickly run through what we have on the board. So we do have Fraser. He's flying Echo in the Phantom who has Duke, Passive Sensors, and Fifth Brother. Okay, and Duncan is flying uh, my favourite buddy, Fen Rao. Um, decided to use Daredevil instead of Fearless for some extra manoeuvrability, and we've seen him use that to good effect. And why not slap some Ion Torpedoes on for a bit of control and to fill some points? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we've seen the Ion Torpedoes come in very yes. handy previously, so you never know, maybe Duncan could also find that magic there and do the same. So let's see exactly how this comes up, but again, yeah, I just, is, yeah. This is going to be interesting because Duncan's going to have a tough time because he, he wants to get in range one, but that Echo can be anywhere on the board it's going to be quite tricky i think daredevil yeah. will help him out quite a lot in this matchup yeah i think that you're right there that ability to do the one hard for the boost is going to help because we, we've seen how maneuverable echo is already and how much he can where you think he's going to be in one position at the next minute he's somewhere so different but Looks like Fraser is playing a bit more defensive here at the moment. Trying to allow Fen to come in. I think that's a good idea, actually. I think if, if he allows Fen to come in a little bit closer, it gives Echo more chance to dance behind him. He runs the risk of being shot at quite heavily, but he's got a cloak and he's got the evade there, so it could could work for him. Yeah, I think um, I think Echo would be probably happier not being in the middle and staying. He needs to stay in a, a, a space where he can decloak. He's he's got as many decloak options as possible. If he yes. if he dives in the middle of the board, he will be limited to where he can decloak, therefore being more predictable. Um, so by staying in that area. Um, he's got a lot more options. Yeah, definitely. He he wants to have all six of those decloak options available to him. Uh, We're shooting. Plenty of evades there. The Phantom. No. Yeah, plenty of evades. Four evade dice with a force and an evade token. So absolutely fine there. Um, mm. This is this is where it's gonna be interesting. Where where will Fraser go? Ooh. Okay, I like that. I'm Does wondering. Is he hard one? I don't know if the hard one would clear. It, it might clear. It'd be it very would. close in front of. Uh, looks like he has dialed in the yeah. hard one. Let's see. Oh, yeah, plenty of space. Oh, this could be nice. The Phantom's favourite move, decloak and then a hard one. Yeah. And not only that, right now. As long as he gets the decloak back in the next phase, he's got five options for decloak as well. Mm. So he's, he's in a good position, potentially forcing Fen to run through the obstacles as well. Oh, two forward. That's an interesting one. I, I think Duncan mm. may have been concerned that that two bank might have gone on to the obstacle. Yeah. 
I'm wondering if he's just being caught in arc there by Echo. Yeah, it might just need to barrel roll to the left. Yeah. Um, yeah. And not only that, if he barrels to the left, that gives him the nice opportunity for that one hard as well, just to... Yeah, it might also cut off a decloak option for Echo. Yeah, barrel to the left. No, I think he would be able to fit that decloak now, unfortunately. If he yeah. barreled forward, that decloak, that, that ship left back decloak option would have been gone. Mm, so I think Echo's got in a good position here. Where you can, I mean, he's got options. You, you could decloak, yeah. to the, decloak to the right and up, upwards, and then hard one back to face towards Fen. Yeah, I think the, um, the interesting... Quite a lot of options. I think a right decloak back and hard one yeah, is a, it'd be a good option because if Fen's going to hard one to the right, potentially, he'd have to then... Oh. Oh, he's going that way. Ooh. He'd be trying to be a bit unpredictable on the Phantom. Yeah, that is interesting. Mm. Or maybe, oh. maybe he's picking Fen or hard one and maybe he's trying to the thing is, any move that mm. Fraser does there, so oh. yeah, hard one. I think if Fen hard ones himself, that would be a bump. So is it that back corner is just far enough over that a hard one would probably bump. Uh, Fen can avoid bumping. He can get a target lock off. Oh no, he's Ooh, gone no. for the two. That is definitely a bump. Yeah. So that's that's definitely worked out in Fraser's favour there. Now I, if it was me, I'd definitely be doing some form of decloak to ship right and hard one back in because mm -hmm. the Fed could do a K. So it's quite an interesting matchup because there's a lot of dancing around and it's just waiting for that one opportunity. Yeah. Hard one now. And, and I think as a, a Fed Rao pilot that that dancing around is going to be frustrating as well. Yeah, I mean, I th I would I would say it kind of favours Echo a bit more. Mm. Uh, I think Fen's having a real hard time trying to pin him down. Get in a position where he can pin this Phantom down. Yeah. Well, there's the four K, which I think is a good option. Oh. But again, if that's a range three. That that will that be fine for Fen. Yeah. But I think looking at looking at the board state, it definitely Echo's definitely got a good good option there. He's got the evade, he's got the force, he's got the focus, he's got the target lock. So I always think that you know, I think Fen will have a real difficulty pinning Echo down being so close. Hmm. Maybe he could just go push away as fast as possible, five get some distance and then come back in at yeah. another angle. That was unfor range. unfortunate no no hits there for Fen, so and that's a good shot from Echo. Ooh. So spending fifth brother, double two crits and a focus. Oh, that's two Ouch. crits going through. Oh no. Fen doesn't like crits. No. Oh, that was all going through, in fact, sorry. Panic oh is that panic pilot on there? And I think structural damage. Oh that is Ouch. No, sorry, stunned pilots and structural damage. So definitely avoid those obstacles there, Duncan. And uh you definitely don't want to be getting shot now. Like Echo is Echo is really showing how powerful it can be. Yeah. 
Oh. 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 Interesting. Oh. I. I don't think that was deliberate. Yeah, I think he may have misjudged his deco there. Yeah. Maybe he's trying to squeeze in between this three. Oh. Oh, unless Duncan's done a hard one, I think you'll be fine. I think, think if Duncan done... would have seen that coming. No, he, he's done a two forward off. He wanted to clear the stress he had on there. Mm. Looking at a target lock. Yeah. I'd definitely say a target lock would be a very good idea right now. You, there's no point trying to do your daredevil. Just get the target lock. Have yeah. your full dial open to you next round. Yeah. I see Echo is a bit. Oh, I didn't expect Echo to go that way. I mean, Echo does have an advantage now in the points and everything, so. Yeah. Could, could 4k? Are you psychic? Ooh, there we go. Really good call there. Right. And even I mean, even with that stress, he's far enough away that he's gonna he should be okay about that. Fen would be happy with this. Fen's got a bit of breathing space. Reassess, reapproach, and see yeah. what he can do. Now Fraser has got a slightly interesting dilemma at this point in that Yes, he can cloak, but he won't get his evade when he decloaks because he is stressed. So it means he's going to have to spend his action to get an evade or cloak. Oh, looks like he elected not to decloak. So, mm. well, that solves that problem then. Mm. Taking the action to evade. Now, here's the problem, is Fen Rao's on one health. And from my experiences, our one health Fen Rao is very angry and very dangerous. Yeah, he the doesn't like it. I've had Fen on one health, and he's just not been able to die. Yeah, don't scratch Fen's paintwork. He does no, not like Fen that. Fen doesn't like it. He takes offence. Do you... Oh, okay, okay, Ooh. good good positioning here. I'm wondering, does he take a, the eye on? Or does he just go for the straight damage? Ah, oh, it's a tough one, actually. Oh, an ion phantom would be a very unhappy phantom. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it looks like he is going for the ions. Mm. Oh, so having to spend everything there by the fit to try and yep, spend that nice. focus. Nice, makes it really tough for Fraser there. Oh, even with everything, you may as well. There's no point. You're going to take one damage and get ioned. So did, Nothing can do safety. Does that mean that it's, would that mean that Echo would be still cloaked next turn? So Echo can decloak because it's in the system phase, but can't get the evade. But uh, I don't believe you'll be able to get the evade. A, it's an action, isn't it? You may gain a free evade action when you do. Yeah. So. The way I understand it, and again, guys, if you know it any different, feel free to correct. He can decloak. He won't get the evade, but he'll have to do the one forward. Which means he can only take a focus. So this is a great potential opportunity for Duncan. If it wasn't... Uh, with that decloak, though, that, that really... The decloak really helps... With the ion, though. Yeah, Fraser, 
yeah, Fraser did a really good job of mitigating that because I don't think Duncan can come back in and get yeah. a shot right now. Really, really good option on that deep cloak there, Fraser. Well done. I like it. So you just grab another target lock? Yeah, I say so. Grab another target lock and then swing back round. <coughs> Now, while we wait for them to finalise this round and set dials to the next round, guys, don't forget, if you do enjoy what we're doing here at Out of Art Gaming, you can support us on Patreon by clicking the link in the description below. And any support you wish to send our way, we are very grateful for. Uh, oh. Actually, I like that. Do the daredevil. Get you a bit further That's round. It. So he set yeah, so he's setting up for his too hard. Yeah. Next turn. Definitely. And that phantom isn't really gonna be able to get out of that, even if it does the one hard. I think that Duncan Oh. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Ben will enjoy that one. Yeah, that is risky to say the least uh, there is a too hard there Fen's the only ship he's happy being right in your face so, yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm happy to meet you at range one in, in your arc I'll take five dice it's just a shame he doesn't have fearless because fearless yeah, well, yeah. that would be crazy I mean, he gets Concordia which is good but Fearless is just next level. And that is that's where Fen becomes really scary. But five it's five dice with a target lock as well, actually. May maybe a focus would have been more preferable, but we shall see. He only if he gets two damage in, that's half points. So let's see. Mm. So Hit, crit, focus, blanks. Oh, it's hitting two crits. That's that's good. Ooh. Spending the force, spending the evade. One damage, keeps him above half. Can Fraser now finish and off? No decloak. Uh, time's up now, so he's not worried about the decloak, but he doesn't have Duke active. Not like that, it's not oh. Concordia or just... Yeah, he'll make it that. Yeah. Oh. That was... That was a tough, tough run there. I think Fraser definitely used his decloaks really well there, especially on that ion. That was interesting to see how he really sort of counteracted Duncan's ioning there. It was really clever, actually. Definitely worth making a note of, I think. But yeah, another interesting game there. So well done, Fraser. You couldn't quite get the kill on Fen, but you beat a Fen Rao, so that is definitely worthy of merit there. So good work, Fraser. Um, ben, again, thank you very much for joining us for that video. No worries. Pleasure as always. And guys, as I said, if you do like what we're doing here at Out of Art Gaming, we have the link in the description for our Patreon. But don't forget, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time.